Praise the Lord, friends. My name is Elda Philemon Nyangoya. Elda Philemon Nyangoya comes all the way from Riverside SGA Church. Riverside SGA Church is located in Nairobi City, in a, new state, in a larger estate known as Ruaraka, but in a smaller uh, estate called Riverside. The church was uh, started in the year 2019, around December, after a crusade of about two weeks. At the end of the crusade, we won around six souls who surrendered their lives to Jesus Christ. were put together, a few elders joined them from around and from far. We had Elder Dr. Daniri Nyamongo, Elder John Choki, Elder Philemon Nyangoya, Elder Charles Nyankundi, and Elder Evans Nyakundi. This team started the church from a small compound within a school, and the name of the school is Precious Ark learning institution. From there, uh, the church persisted in uh, uh, congregating together every other Sabbath. But in this compound, there was a school. So we were sharing the service, uh, the, the premises together with the school. Meaning on Sabbath day, classes were going on. At the same time, the church services were being carried out. After COVID, the school expanded, more students joined, and the programs changed. In the sense that the school was being opened on a Sabbath day. This brought um, uh, some confusion and a misunderstanding running two programs at the same time. Pastor Joshua Nyakora, who was appointed to shepherd this team from the time of the crusade, together with the elders and the church members, decided to look for an alternative site within the vicinity. That's how we found ourselves in the current site and the premises. The site was not ready, was not conducive for such a church services. But we mobilized a few resources here and there. We did some uh, repairs and maintenance to make it habitable. Thank God through the time that the place has improved, we have uh, a structure and the compound is looking neat at the moment. But now to maintain the membership and especially the kids who are coming from uh, the area around, we introduced the children feeding program on Sabbath. After the services, we invite the kids 
who sometimes go angry, who are loitering around or playing around, to come and share with us in the meals. That way, we have attracted more kids into the church, plus their parents. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the church is uh, located in the Eastland part of Nairobi. Getting space is a nightmare. And that's why we are going out to friends, sponsors, and well-wishers who can lend a hand in supporting God's work. We intend, as a church, to keep on expanding. We also intend to, uh, to put up a better structure, perhaps a permanent one. And God willing, who knows, we might find a piece of land and buy and have a sanctuary that is worthy the name of the Lord. So I welcome you uh, viewers from all over the world, wherever you are, that you can join with Riverside and be, uh, be part of this family that is growing and that is shining in this corner of Nairobi. Thank you. Church, and it's my pleasure to present this in furtherance to what my pastor Ella Solomon presented to you concerning the welfare, the, 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 the start, how the Riverside Church Church started, and how where it is today. I would like to bring to you that the church we have seen the hand of god and god indeed has been so gracious and faithful to us as a church and briefly the last the church started 20, 2019 with very few members seven members and for her last the pastor We were lucky after crusade, we had a shelter where we started our first sanctuary, one of the second schools around called Precious Ark, where we started worshiping of God. From there, later because the environment became so was unconducive because the school was running its classes to weekend, including Saturdays, we had to get uh, alternative sanctuary whereby around the area we got a uh, good Samaritan lady to give us a classroom just as you can see behind me classroom where we have been worshiping since that time up to now yeah uh, the church has grown from a membership as I told you earlier membership of seven people seven congregants and also four headlers and a pastor now from there, we have experienced tremendous, tremendous exponential growth that's so encouraging to the point that the current membership now stands at 80. And out of that 80, we have been able to hold around three baptisms, one in 2020, 2021, and 2022, where we have been able to baptize 27 souls that have surrendered to God cumulatively in the three baptisms. And out of that, we have been able to hold uh, crusades within the vicinity where the now where we have received uh, a quite a number of souls surrendering to God and it has really given us energy and we thank God for that. Out of that, the church has been able to hold a number of missions, including Pathfinder, Pathfinder rallies, music rallies. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for this fact that he has brought us. Uh, indeed, it has been a long journey. We started this some time ago, but we've come 
all this, all this far, we've come because of the God is hand. And we started the, this choir, a few of us, but now you can see we are so many. And we have a lot of hope that where we are going, we are going far. We've done so far three albums, two albums. We need to do the last, the third album this year, God willing. But we have some uh, shortages and shortcomings. What we need, we need, uh, we are planning to buy a PA system, a nice one, which can help us spread the work. We need a keyboard, which by now we don't have, but we are aiming and we, need, we, we know that God will open our way so that we get a nice keyboard, a nice system, which can make this far, which can make this choir go far. And in fact, we are hoping that the world is going to open for our way. We are urging everybody to come on board so that you support this choir to achieve all this. Finally, we need to buy a nice uniform for this choir because we are, uh, we are going to launch our DVD next come May, we want to do our DVD. And so we are praying for God to open our way so that this choir can go and can do marvelous and bring men to God's kingdom. Otherwise, thank you very much and support this choir. Uh, we have been able to sort, solve fair number of need cases, including attending the bereaved ones around the area, even fundraising for our members, that members of, of lost their beloved ones. Finally, the church has grown the year 2021. 20, we expanded, we expanded the church and the in the year 2023, we did the floor of the church, but still the church remained small because still the number, the number is growing. And the number, the number is growing. We understand that equally, pastor's work becomes more, and then, therefore, his welfare needs to be improved. Therefore, that's why we're calling upon that we, we get support support the uh, good support that we can we can improve the welfare of our local pastor persecution Nakora. people forget the bigger picture that what god is looking now is not looking where you go to which mountain you go it's not looking to those who want to do those who to Samaria, like that woman of Samaria, or like the, the, the man Jesus. Now, what work about what you want to say? Jerusalem. Again, we could like to most sincerely, we could like to most sincerely call upon you, our brethren, to be. To be, able to, to be able to assist us in a special way so as to expand the church because we are projecting a very exponential growth of the next one or two years. You know, the growth is likely to reach to three, four hundred. Therefore, we need to urgently expand the church so as to avoid being caught off guard. And above all, this is a good Samaritan who has given us this this place where we are we are worshiping. We have a long term project whereby we need land that we will be, we will be able to do a bigger, better sanctuary to be able to accommodate not less than two thousand worshippers. So as at least to, to make so as to to enable us to spread this this good news in this part of the world. Praise the Lord, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Pastor Joshua Yakora uh, uh, from Nairobi, uh, Riverside SDA Church. 
and uh, we have come to share our 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 call and mission with you brethren so that we can partner in this mission and i i love to call upon you listeners that uh, this riverside sda church is a uh, a small church which we commonly call uh, supper school as my elder said in the introduction part this church uh, came up uh, in the year 2019 and since then we have seen god uh, blessing us uh, amidst the challenges that we have gone through uh, which all of us we are aware uh, through the period of which was a period of COVID-19, it was tough, but the Lord's grace led us to, to this point. This Liverside area uh, is near the slum area of Nairobi city. I know many of us, we know, uh, we hear Nairobi slums. It's near the slum area of one of the areas of Nairobi, which is Mathare. So we have many members who come from these slum areas and uh, we welcome them and that is our mission that we go and invite people so that they can meet with our Lord Jesus. So right now we have uh, membership which is uh, approaching a, a 80, 80 uh, excluding uh, children who come. So uh, the, we thank God because it has reached there. 80 pi number. Uh, the number has grown, but the space where we are is small. That's why in this space we saw it good that we can expand this place. Uh, as an immediate need of the church. Uh, the, 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 the membership uh, is expanding and we need uh, the place to, exp to be expanded so that we can be able to serve these people uh, in the best way possible. Uh, another thing that uh, we are looking forward is by God's grace, we can be able to start uh, a church school in this area uh, around this place uh, we need to start a small school uh, which is taken care and managed by this church uh, that's an avenue which also is ready that we can use it to reach many people to raise the foundation of the Adventist uh, faith in this uh, as the area of Riverside. Uh, another thing that uh, we look forward to, to do, uh, that is as an immediate need also, is uh, what we are doing right now, feeding the congregation and feeding the, the, the congregation as all well needs a lot of capital for the church. And uh, as a pastor, I can testify that uh, we, when we look at the church uh, donations, feeding and learning the programs, it is, uh, it is a bit expensive for us. But uh, by God's grace, we have managed to carry it forward. So the feeding program is very special because by feeding these members who come from the slum area, we are able to, to satisfy their immediate needs before we give them the spiritual food. As one man said, or I, I think American president, uh, Lucifer said, that you cannot preach to an empty stomach. So it is upon that principle uh, that we see it's good to feed. Of course, that's what even Jesus, our master did. He fed 5,000 men and, uh, and women uh, before he preached to them. So feeding program is also what we are carrying forward uh, amidst the, uh, our small, our small uh, capabilities. Uh, another thing that we want to look for as a long-term 
as a long term plan is by God's grace we can start a sanatorium where we can be helping the community in terms of getting uh, education on how to feed themselves in the right manner and even to treat some of these uh, communicable diseases which can be uh, defeated by educating the people. The Lord bless you uh, as you hear this Macedonian call from Liverside area in Nairobi.